Marlene's getting mauled. Marlene's getting mauled. Hi, Turbo. <laughs> oh, Java and Turbo and Jasper. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, boy. <laughs> Mark here, and welcome to our 10 acre woods. So it's only about two weeks until our kid goats are due. Uh, so we've got a lot of uh, animal management we have to do uh, this weekend. Uh, so some of it is to move the, uh, the, the animals from inside the building around uh, to make room for our four does that are out in the uh, main shelter. Uh, get them in, they're due the first week of April. So, that means two weeks from today, uh, we may have some kid goats. So we're going to be on goat watch for the next uh, little bit. Uh, but we want to make sure the mamas are in their, uh, their pen inside the building. Uh, also, what happened on Thursday, Thursday, uh, was little Charlie. Uh, so our uh, Kun Kun goat, a Kun Kun goat. <laughs> Our, I got goats on the brain. Our coon coon pig, uh, he went to the vet uh, and he got the little snip snip. So we got him fixed. Uh, so we are keeping him. Tara drove to Yorkton, Saskatchewan, uh, a 10, 11 hour round trip drive uh, yesterday on Friday. Uh, so uh, I did take uh, a small camera with me to, uh, to film his vet. Uh, appointment or the pickup. Um, so keep an eye on the area. Might be a little bit irritated and dry for a few days. Totally normal. Um, just try to keep him as like clean and dry as yeah. possible for the next week or so. Um, he got a Medicam injection, so that's all he really needs for pain um, and inflammation. And then he did get some um, like penicillin um, today. Are you comfortable giving injections? Nope. No. Nope? Okay. I'm gonna have to ask the doctor uh, what he wants to do for that. Cause I gave him one injection already. We generally sent home two more doses. Uh, so I'm just gonna double check with him what he wants to do as far as if there's a like oral. I think there is. I'll ask him. Um, other than that, there's there's really nothing else. Okay, yeah, I don't do you. Yeah, that's okay. Totally, that's okay. You know, I should learn in no. the rescue, but that is totally fine. I will. Uh, I'll see what he wants me to do as far as um, if he even wants to do any more antibiotics. Just see how it goes. And all I ever use on them is polysporin. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So if that's like the best thing I've ever injected. <laughs> you show me. I can show you. And if you are not comfortable with it, then, then I'll be. We can just, yeah. I'm gonna call my friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, anybody who like can give injections. Totally. Yeah, our farrier. Okay, yep. She's a former vet tech. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just show me how to do it. I, I, I should learn. I've done injections and I've it's done just, them on goats. Yeah. and. It's every, just when you but don't. But of course, oh, absolutely. there's scary. different, don't know, right? there's different absolutely. injections, right? We, and we and watch it's like, a, are you doing it right? Yeah, totally. I totally get it. It yeah. is scary, right? We watch you know, Sandy Brock. Okay, yeah. And when she sits in, <laughs> and it's like, how it can't be that hard. <laughs> But it's scary. I feel like it. So I'm going to go get him. Okay. I will show you. Okay. And then you just let me know if it's something you're comfortable with. Okay. Cool. Charlie! What happened? Let here. Oh, right. What a trip. What is that? Charlie! All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, he looks a little groggy. He, he cut it, yeah, <laughs> this will open from the top. It's edgy. Oh, <laughs> great. Are you here to pick up Maddie as well? Charlie. All right. So if you show him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, show me. Okay, so I can feel spine. I can feel a hip right down here. So I'm going to go like right in this muscle right here. So you're gonna come off the side a little bit and just not on his hip bone. Yeah. Okay? So you inject straight down like that, and you always pull this back. Yeah. Make sure you to get look negative for, pressure. Yeah. Like that. And as long as there's no blood. No blood, yeah. And then you just inject like that. And that's it. Okay? Yeah. okay? <laughs> Charlie! Yeah. So spine right here. Yeah. You feel like a, a little bone right yeah. there. And then So I, it's just off that. Just off the side, because you don't want to go into the spot. Yeah. Well, yeah, but no, but how far over? Like a finger width. Yeah. Yep, exactly. 
Yeah. And like I said, we will do it for you tomorrow yeah. if you're if that's what you want, um, or if you have a friend who knows how to do it or whatever. Yeah. Um, totally. But <laughs> they, like I've, I've never so had a better day. Two days in a row. Yes, twenty four hours apart. So we got it this evening or this afternoon. So you can give it like tomorrow, yeah. four or five ish, um, and then the next day at four or five. Yeah. And that's all okay. Hey. Okay. You're comfortable with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Well, I guess we've got to open this up. There we go. You sleep it off, bud. <laughs> yeah, a little honk. <laughs> honk, honk. He's like, what did you guys do to me? Charlie! <laughs> you go for a nap, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I see you guys have treats already. So Marlene's been uh, a couple weeks since she's come out and you can see uh, the treats she has uh, given these guys here. So it sounds like she's in with the uh, with the ducks. Oh, you got a bale of, uh, oh yes. Yeah, it's melting so don't eat it on the ground. Yeah. Treats for the animals. Oh yeah, everybody enjoys when Marlene comes. <laughs> the rabbits all come out <laughs> from hiding. <laughs> uh, even the Muscovy ducks are in on it. <laughs> uh, and this area here we're going to have to clear out once things warm up, but until then uh, we'll spread down some, uh, as this is melting, we got to keep it dry, so we'll spread down some healthy straw here. The ducks are going to get uh, quite dirty. Uh, and we can probably, uh, in the uh, next week or two, let them out uh, into the yard. Because uh, we're not concerned with these guys. Of course, they're waterfowl, so if they go in the water, it's not an issue. It's just uh, the, uh, the animals, the other animals. We want to make sure the pond is um, safe for them to be around and not wander out uh, onto the ice. There we go. There we go. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Charlie. How are we feeling today? <laughs> hey. Looks like he's. Yeah, he's not so groggy as he was, uh, as he was the other day. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, yes, these pigs went to uh, Yorkton, uh, to another farm, so now this pen is completely open. Uh, so we're gonna clean this out. And we're gonna move these guys around, and the mamas are gonna go back in this area until they kit out and then they'll go in uh, we'll pull them and put them in the uh, the separate clean pens over uh, on this side yeah it's like they want it right out of the bin hi sheldon you want some oh there you go and Onyx is looking good. She's putting on some weight. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, you want some other? Good... You don't want any. Oh, Black, you want some more? Hi, buddy. <laughs> uh, you're looking for some hay. Oh, they're grain. Oh, they're grain. Wow, grains and hay. You need some water? It says, what are these treats? We haven't had these treats in a while. Yeah, I know. I can't think that. Fernando! 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 Come on, buddy. We're going outside. Come on, Nando. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go. 
Come on, out you go. There you go. Oh, don't fall. No. Go on. Out you go. Okay. Alright, breakfast is served. Skunk. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this isn't the shape drive through. Yeah. Susie and Skunk are going to come over here. Okay. I'm going to redo that fence like we did before. <laughs> Sheep in the video. I don't know, Coco. What's happening out there? Uh, oh, here comes Glenn. Glenn says, give me my food. Oh, so that's a kind of a goal for today, too. Okay. <laughs> I'll feed them, get Okay, I'll take the Okay, so uh, mamas, we've got one here. This is Holly. Uh, and then we have Petunia, which is over there. Uh, we have Billie Jean. And we have Coco, that's over on the other side there. So those are the four girls. Oh, Juanita. Um, so yeah, Juanita, Pedro and Skunk and Susie uh, are the ones that uh, will be going back to their, uh, their farm uh, once things kind of melt and uh, they can get their uh, outbuildings in, uh, in check and cleared out. Uh, so probably in the next, probably in about two weeks time, three weeks? Uh, Juanita, Pedro, we don't have a timeline, right? No, they're just gonna get their barn set. So yeah, so they got to get everything. Uh, been in kind of all winter, so. Yeah, so it's got to melt and clear out. Uh, so they'll be heading out. So there's going to be a lot of juggling around. Oh, treat time! <laughs> Did he eat his treat? Yeah. Oh yeah, Charlie's eating his. He's got his apples. Is that good, eh? Is that good? Yeah. I missed you guys. Yeah. I like it when I can't make it out. No. I miss the piggies. Uh, he didn't eat the cantaloupe yet. He's eating the apples. <laughs> Cantaloupe's over here, buddy. Right here. Look. Right here. <laughs> yeah, it's got the, the hard shell on it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it's gone. <laughs> He's like, where is the rest of it? Where is the rest of it? <laughs> hey, bud. Yeah, yes. Oh, there we go. Marlene to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, he prefers the apples. He says, if I have to eat the cantaloupe, I will, but I'll save that for last. <laughs>
He's like, no more apples. Uh, well, are you gonna go eat the cantaloupe? <laughs> he says, all right, I'll, I'll eat it if I have to. Finish your dinner. <laughs> Y'all done? You ready to go out? Uh, okay, let's go. Come on, uh, Okay. That's a good girl. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's it, Charlie. Alright, so what's the plan? Well, the plan is the wall's got to go back over there, but I left this because there's going to be a ton of mice that come out of here. Oh. See, this is too short. Underneath. So I need the longer one. Okay. Yeah, and we've got our wood storage up here in the rafters. Yeah. Maybe I'll grab that Your first. Your keys are in the inside. I can screw there. Okay. Yeah, let's grab the longer ones. That was too short. But you have to take it down carefully because there's nests. Oh, Marlene's getting mauled. Marlene's getting mauled. Hi, Turbo. <laughs> oh, Java and Turbo okay. and Jasper. <laughs> All the boys. <laughs> Your keys are inside. <laughs> this is for everybody else. <laughs> oh my god, Java. Uh, Your turbo? <laughs> oh, turbo's done. He's chewing, he's got his mouth full. <laughs> you crazy boys. I'm bringing your peas out. These are turbos. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> okay, I'll go get your piece. Hang on. Oh, boy. Just hang on. Watch your bullies. <laughs> okay, level it down. Okay, get the last bit turbo. It's going up. Up slightly. There you go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Hey right. Susie, skunk, your pen seems to be larger now. <laughs> uh, all right, so what we've done is we have moved, of course, the wall that goes there to the wall that goes here. And what happens is, so we've got a gate, which we've got a little hook on. Tara loves wood and loves building. And uh, <laughs> that opens up in that direction there. So the idea here is what we do is the goats, the mama goats are in here and they'll have their kids. And then what happens is during the night they go inside and during the day uh, they come out. So we'll be able to open this up, bring them out, close that off. Without having to sort. Yeah, without having to sort anybody. Uh, and then they'll be able to exit through that door over there Hi, into the yard. Uh, so Love we're going to make uh, we're going to make the call on these two to see if uh, the person who owns these two goats uh, can move them over this week, uh, so that we can at least make this. Because uh, there are two wild cards, uh, we had them in with the other animals, and they are just such a bully. Yes, so that's Skunk and Sue. And you girls are very bully-ish, aren't you? <laughs> so, of course, they were messing with the other goats, and so we put them back over here. So we're going to leave this as is, uh, and we're going to um, see if uh, they, these ones can be picked up, go, go over to their farm, and then we'll have the room to play with. Uh, so there we go. We're all now segregated in and uh, everybody's eating here and uh, that's it uh, for our construction out in this area so it's uh, the end of the day uh, we just finished our evening animal feed and we've moved our animals around uh, so Charlie is here <laughs> but <laughs> we figured uh, we would take him out of this one and clean it up since it was pretty much prepped for uh, the mama goats. So, uh, he will be in here. We have Susie and Skunk in that area there. And we have the four mamas. The preggers. The preggers. <laughs> and you can see, <laughs> yeah, Petunia is looking uh, quite she's large. She's massive yeah, for having is. twins. Because yeah. she has twins every year, but she looks like she's got triplets in her. Yeah, no, she's... Uh... <laughs> so this is where we start looking. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we watch... Uh, we've got a camera pointing yeah, in this so direction first, in first, here, so we can keep an eye on them. The first sign will be the hollowing. Yeah, yeah. so hollowing right uh, kind of in that region there, right below the back. Well, I guess, no, sorry, the first sign will be the mucus plug, and then swelling. Milk will come... Oh, look at Coco's milk's coming yeah. in. Yeah. Well, all yeah. of them look like their milk's coming in. Yeah. I haven't looked at Holly enough. Yeah, and then then the the, the cave, yeah. the Petunia's sides looking will cave very in. full of milk. But yeah, I'll cave in right here. Yeah, I just treated them. So we yeah. just treated them with lice uh, treatment as well. And you do that again. It's ten days or two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, and that is to catch the ones that are eggs that hatch. So that the babies don't end up with any. Yeah. yeah. So there's a number of things. So we uh, we treated each of the other pens that we cleaned out, or the one that we cleaned out and the one that uh, Charlie's in, uh, with DE, diatomaceous earth. Yeah, that was my concern. Yeah. That they were gonna get too close. We used to have a wall on the wood board. Yeah. Yeah. We have the wood board that still fits uh, The diatomaceous earth is a natural, um, natural, um, what, dusting powder for yeah. Um, mites and fleas and that kind of thing. So um, we've got a couple different uh, layers of defense that we uh, we do, and then we dust the little ones once they're um, at least a few days old. We want to give them a few days before we dust them because the mamas can have them in the warm spots down under their belly. So when the kids are underneath there, that's where uh, that's where they get the transference. So we want to make sure that we uh, we treat them well. All right, so the uh, outside area you guys saw before. And uh, now we have the little ones in here. <laughs> oh, and Onyx. Onyx is here. <laughs> and Sheldon. Hey, guys. 
<laughs> so they made it uh, they made it outside step one right <laughs> yeah step one <laughs> are you happy Sheldon are you a happy goat so the next step is well really anytime uh, we can open that gate we just have to shovel the snow that's on the other side of it uh, but it's all clear on that side so we are making the move to uh, shift these guys outside all right so we've made an adjustment to our setup uh, because uh, we saw that there was an opening and an issue that could be had uh, we decided to block that off uh, it is open up a little bit here at the gate we do have a board down lower but generally the goats don't hang out over in this area anyway so I think uh, we have a winner here so the girls are over there they can't directly see the girls that are over here so we should be uh, should be good now we were here looking at uh, the four girls here and of course Petunia is uh, quite large and and so is Billie Jean here and Coco but uh, what is that <laughs> that's a little Sarama <laughs> Uh, they're cute. And there's Billy. Okay, squirrel. <laughs> Let's squirrel back here. Uh, so Holly over there is uh, not got the curves that the other girls have. So, um, and she doesn't have an udder. Her udder is almost completely flat. So we're thinking that she is uh, not pregnant, but we figured we'd keep her in with, uh, with her bunk mates here. Um, so it looks like it is only the three girls that we'll be expecting. And uh, usually they have twins, sometimes triplets. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens here. What's going on? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, little Carl! These guys broke through. They were in yeah. here. The big, these, these two were in here. Oh, did they? Wow. Okay, well, that was early. I know, right? Well, it's a good, uh, good timing with uh, when we put them in last night. But she wasn't hollow. No. No. Nope. She wasn't. Nope. I'll take some. Okay, I'm going to feed while you're in here, Wow. Okay. <laughs> she may have another one too. You figure? Yeah, well, she just got discharged, so. so we have our first uh, surprise kids <laughs> of the uh, of the year. All right. Wow. Timing's everything, isn't it, Petunia? <laughs> Clean them up, Mama. Yeah, it was um, it was cold last night. I think it was minus 15 last night. So of course it's above zero in the barn. So that is um, that is very uh, lucky. Good timing that uh, that we got them in. I'll have to look back on the cameras and see. Uh, so I've got a camera uh, right up there. Uh, that uh, checks out this pen, so we'll have to have to check on that. <laughs> so we'll likely um, move them into uh, into another pen. What is it, Coco? You're looking for food, are you? Is it? Are you looking for food? <laughs> Thank you.
So in reviewing the video, it looks like that Petunia gave birth about half an hour before Terra came out. Uh, so that was good timing as well. And the breakout didn't happen until about 10, 15 minutes before Terra came out. Uh, so again, that was good. We were concerned that it was longer. And of course, uh, Susie and Skunk were pestering the girls for a lot longer. So it actually wasn't that, uh, wasn't that bad. So we have moved her over here. So there we go. Um, and it looks like the little Billy looking one is a boy uh, and the other one is a girl um, from what I understand I know this one's a boy she said this was a boy so I'm assuming the other one is a girl uh, but um, there she is there right Petunia good girl so we're monitoring them uh, with a camera here so we have a real length camera here uh, and I received another camera which I am going to put down here uh, from a company called DZ's. Um, so I'm using this old uh, camera here, which the resolution, of course, isn't great. Uh, you can see from that video, it was a little grainy, uh, but the other one is a 2K camera. So I'm gonna hook that one up and we'll be able to monitor these girls a little better. Um, so yeah, so Holly's probably out of the running <laughs> uh, and it's the other two. Uh, so we weren't expecting any kids for another week yet. Uh, so it was a good thing. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that, Billie Jean. Leave them alone. <laughs> Paris put up a, a larger piece of wood. Now, now it's completely blocked. Um, so that's it. So we're on Kid Watch for the next week. So I will try to do some weekly updates um, this coming week. And of course, uh, if there's any action, I will um, inform you and we'll, uh, we'll post that. And that's it. We're waiting. So it's another beautiful sunny day. Uh, so that is uh, exciting to see. Uh, so that is it for this video. It's a, it's a long one, but I want, wanted to make sure uh, I got everything in. Uh, a lot went on this weekend, and uh, it looks like there'll be a lot going on this coming week. So I will keep you up to date, and until then, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.